cool. Right. The rights that seem to be such a fundamental and essential aspect of life that most do not even stop to think about them. The rights entitled to all of humanity equally and impartially. Human rights. These rights are so basic and so crucial to Western society that a world without them seems bleak and inconceivable. Yet this is the kind of world that my fellow brothers and sisters live in. Members of Congress, I'm here along with the Korean Church Coalition to no longer speak, but rather to shout on behalf of the voiceless. As many of you already know, the North Koreans are deprived of the most basic necessities of life. From birth, these North Koreans are robbed of the things we call human rights, the existence of which the North Koreans are unaware of and a concept that they would not understand. Knowing this, we should be grateful for what we have. Yet what is the point of this gratitude if it is limited to our thoughts? True, this may be a matter of politics, but on a deeper sense, this is something that penetrates far deeper than that. This is a matter of life and death, a matter of right and wrong. If we do not help these North Koreans, they will eventually die. If we do not help them, we are no better than those subjecting the North Koreans to their life of pain and suffering. So I ask you, no, I implore you, be the source of hope that these North Koreans have never had. Be the voice for the oppressed. But most importantly, be true to the ideals that this nation is founded upon and give them happiness and hope. Give them liberty. Give them life. Thank you. Great job.